Salut! Alors, right guys, if you're watching this video, it means that on your latest assessment, you've been given EBI 6, the present tense. And to be honest, I'm not surprised because this is the one of the most used EBIs in the whole of Glenthorne. I use it almost every student, every assessment myself. And it's because it's one of the biggest, most trickiest parts of French grammar with the most rules and the most things you need to learn. It is huge, the present tense, and, and you're going to make mistakes on it for years and years and years to come. Even year 13s who get A's, A stars at A level and who go on to university to study French, they, they make mistakes on the present tense. Even French people do. But don't fear, it doesn't mean it's impossible. We can conquer it today. I'm going to go through and explain the present tense and explain the rules that you need to know. But mainly it's about setting you up to say in the future, this is what you can do. And one day you will crack the present tense and you won't even think about it. It will just flow out of your mouth. It will take time, but you will know all of the rules and everything you need to know by the end of this video. Right, guys, so there is no quick fix to this EBI. There's two things I want you to do which will stop you getting EBI 6 and which will make sure you get an excellent GCSE grade. And the first step is crucial. I used to do it myself during the module. When we learn a verb, learn how it conjugates, which means how we change the endings or how we change the whole verb if it's irregular. So if we hit a verb and we're revising pouvoir and we've got our song uh, or vouloir or devoir or uh, aller or any song or any verb, you need to learn how it changes. Now when I was in school, my teacher Mrs Slack would just give us verb tests every single lesson and it was quite boring. Don't tell her I said that, but we got really, really good at changing our verbs. So you just have to learn it. Second part, you need to look up verbs. Even I look up verbs. I've got books of verbs in them and sometimes I come across a verb and I think, I can't remember how to conjugate that. Remember, conjugate means change it for the right person. I can't remember how to conjugate that and I need to look it up. And if I need to look something up, you do as well. Even French people look up verbs and how they conjugate. Don't be afraid to do it. The best way to do it is all the irregular verbs are the particularly annoy annoying ones. And that's what that's why we've got a verb wheel here. So use the verb wheel. Use the verb wheel. And this has every irregular verb is five pounds from Mr. Ennis today. Alors, to crack the present tense and to never get this as an EBI again, you need to be able to answer all 10 of these questions. So before you carry on with this video, just put me on pause read through these questions and see how many you can, be, you can answer. It might be almost all of them, it might be absolutely none of them. Either way, pause me now, see what you know, and then we'll work through these questions one by one by one. Hello, mes petits. So the first question was, when do we use the present tense? And this is a confusing thing for English speakers because it's different between our languages. In English, there are two present tenses. For example, I play and I am playing. They're called the present and the present continuous. You use both of these every single day of your lives. There's a difference between I play football and I am playing football. However, the difference is in French, there's only one present tense. There's only one. This one in green over here, this doesn't exist in French, or it does, but you just say je joue and that means I play and I am playing. You never need an extra word. And what people do is they say like, je suis joué, euh, dégoutant. You do not do that. You just say je joue. This means I play. And it also means I am playing. This is a key difference you've got to know. Alors, right guys, we've answered question one. We use the present tense like je joue to say I play and I am playing. The next few questions, let's work through these now. Et voilà mes petits, here, have a little look. If you couldn't answer these six questions, you've now got this grid to help you. I've got my infinitives over here, and I've got the different colours on the endings of the verb, and I've got two verbs in red here. So if you weren't sure about these six questions, put me on pause, right, and see if you can work them out now. 
put me on pause, see if you can answer the questions, and then restart me, and I'll go through the answers one by one by one. Non va. Alors, right guys, let's work through these questions and see what you know. First off then, what is an infinitive? They're over here. They are the full form of the verb. This is what the verb looks like before you change it. And if you looked it up in a dictionary, this is what you've got. Now, the problem and the mistake people do is they know this is the verb. So they say things like je regarde. I watch dégoutant. It does not happen. So this is the full form form. We need to change it. How many types of verb are there? Well, they're here. We've got ER verbs, IR verbs, RE verbs, and these are irregulars. They still end in ER, IR, or RE, but they're irregular verbs. So we say there's four types of verb, ER, IR, RE, and then our irregular verbs. So we've said you can't say je regarde. What changes when we talk about others? We'll look along the road. Here we're talking about I. Here we're talking about you. Here we're talking about he, she, one. And what's changing? Our verb, our verb ending changes. You can see, look at the ER verb pattern. E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. The verb ending changes depending on who is doing the verb. So go back a question. There's four types of verb. What does that matter? Because that gives us the pattern to change our verb. So if a verb ends in ER, we've got regarder here, but if you add jouer or aimer, this is what you need to do. They all follow this pattern. So if you know if a verb is ER, IR, RE, it tells you how to change it and what pattern you need to do to follow. Before you do that, I've told you, you can't say je regarde, je finis. Hein? People do. You need to chop off the infinitive end in the ER, IR, RE, they've got to go chop them off and then change the verbs. They follow a pattern. So once you know the pattern, once you've learned that off by heart, if you know it's an ER verb, an IR verb, an RE verb, you can just change the pattern. Simple. What's happening with the red verbs? They're not following our regular pattern. They are irregular verbs. They changed completely. They changed differently. I'll come to these later. We're just looking at most verbs, at ER verbs, IR verbs, RE verbs. You got this? Let's put you to your first test for today. Et voilà. Donc, ici, j'ai la tendance. Here, I've got the pattern. So remember, think about those rules. You need to chop off the ER, IR, RE, and then put the right end in for the person doing it. So here, I've got six verbs, and I've got two extra challenges. See if you can translate. We watch, they watch, she finishes. We finish, they wait, they go. Put me on pause. I want the French for all six of these things. And you've got some extra challenge at the bottom. Pause me now. See what you can do. Bon courage. On y va. Alors, right guys. I'm going to go through the answers now. If you get all six of these, I think you're well on your way to cracking EBI 6. So well done. First one then is regarder. I want to say we watch. So what people do is they say, well, the word for we is new. And then the verb to watch is regarder. So I just put new regarder. Do not do that. Remember our rules. The verb ch -ch 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 changes. It follows a p -p 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 pattern and we have to -ah, chop off the ER. So put all that together. Never write an infinitive like that. So we've got we watch. What you need to do is get rid of the ER. So I've got regard and then it's new. Our ending is ONS. Put it all together. New regardons. This is how you say we watch our ending changes. So what about they watch? Same thing. They is either il or elle. Let's take the masculine if we don't know if it's masculine or feminine. Then regarder, get rid of the er, and then our ending is ent. Ils regardent with an ent. Now you don't pronounce it, but you got to write it. Ils regardent with the ent on the end. Well done if you got these two. Now she finishes. Finir is our verb. It's an ir verb, so it's a different pattern in green at the top. She is elle. We chop off the ir. And we replace it with an IT, L fini. Well done if you got that. IR verbs are tricky. We finish. Now, this shows you how mad IR verbs are. The word for we is new. Finia means to finish. This is the infinitive. We need to chop off the IR. And then we need to add the right ending, which is all of this. See, 
of what you say, nous finissons. I'll come to that extra challenge after. They wait, attendre. This time, we've got an RE verb. So chop off the RE, and then what's our ending? ENT, il is attend with the ENT. Then they go. Ali is an ER verb, but it's in red. It's a regular. You know the song to learn this, so you need to choose the right one. It's ils vont. Okay, so over here, she likes watching. Whenever you have two verbs together, like here, the first verb has to change. So we chop off the ER for Amy, and then we follow the pattern, which is an E. But the second verb, I want to say watching or to watch. So I do use the infinitive. So when you use two verbs together, the first one changes, the second one doesn't change. Then I prefer, this one's tricky. Why is this here? Because it's just an ER verb. So I chop off the ER and I add an E. That's partly what you need to do. But this is what we call a semi-irregular verb. Why? Look at that accent change. This has got a tricky little accent and this is why I was in detention for much of my high school life with Mrs. Slack, because these are the verbs she used to test us on, and these are the ones you need to know. So, let's have a little look at them now. Guys, you've done really well today. Look how many questions we've already answered. Here's our answers for these. Make sure you're following, make sure you know these. If you don't know any of the answers to these, you can go back to the video and watch. We now just have our semi-irregulars, our irregulars, and these are three quick questions. So, what you need to do, and this is mainly for A-level students and, and GCSE students going for 7, 8 and 9, some verbs that end in these patterns here, they change differently. So they're still regular, they still follow our pattern, but there's a little change in them that's really annoying that people get wrong all the time. You just need to learn these off by heart and you need to learn how they change. Like, look at préféré, it goes préfère, 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 and then the accents change in the new form and the V form, and then they change back again. Tricky. Guys, you might think, how am I ever going to learn this? Just practice them and one day you'll get them. These are slightly irregular verbs. These are completely irregular verbs. Now, when you're doing A-level French, you'll need to have these all known off by heart and memorised. In the meantime, you've got your verb wheel available from Modern Foreign Languages for £5. So you can use this. This verb wheel has all of these verbs that you will need to learn. So buy a verb wheel, look them up. It looks like a lot, but I promise you one day, right? These are regular verbs, you'll just know them off by heart. You won't need to look them up anymore. And so we've answered all 10 questions. Put me on pause, see if you can answer them all, and then I'll go through the answers. Pause me now, see what you can answer. Hello, mes petits. Let's see what you can do then. So. The present tense is when, when you want to say I verb or I am verbing. So I watch and I am watching. I play and I am playing. It's the same thing. The infinitive is the full form of the verb with an ER, IR, RE on the end. And it translates to to verb or verbing. So you need to change it unless you want to say like I like playing. How many types of French verb are there? There's technically four. You've got ER verbs, IR verbs. RE verbs and irregular verbs. What changes when we talk about others? The ending ch -ch -ch changes. We need to know if it's ER, IR or RE because our verbs follow a pattern and with the knowledge of what it is, we know how to change the verb. First thing you need to do, wah, chop off the ER, IR or RE. We do that in year seven. We pretend to be ninjas to get that into your heads that you need to chop off the ER, IR, RE and then Follow the pattern, learn the patterns off by heart. So for ER verbs, it's E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. For IR verbs, it's I, S, I, S, I, T, I, W, S, O, N, S, I, W, S, E, Z, I, W, S, E, N, T. For RE verbs, it's S, S, nothing, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. Now, I only know that because my teacher in school made me learn it off by heart. You need to know the pattern so you can do it. Semi-irregular verbs. They do follow that pattern, but there's an annoying change in them that's going to catch you out. And then irregular verbs don't follow the pattern at all. They change completely. You've got to learn them off by heart at A level for GCC by a verb wheel. And slowly but surely you will learn them. And then one day you'll be a genius at it and you won't need to look it up. Guys, this has been our tough EBI. There's one more task I want you to do before you've conquered this and before you can complete this homework. And it's your daily test, so you know how this works. 
this is what you need to do. You need to copy out the daily test in your pink book. So you've got a booklet. Don't work in the booklet. What you need to do is you need to copy this with the answers and then copy a blank one underneath it or next to it or whatever. Then you revise really hard all the answers. So learn the answers. Make sure you know it. When you think you've got it, cover up the answers. And then with the one you've already copied out in your pink book, I want you to try and fill it in. Can you answer these questions? Can you fill in the grid with this pattern here? Then uncover the answers and mark your work. How many did you get right? Or what did you get wrong? And then that's this is the good bit. Rinse and repeat. Look back at the answers. Look at what you've got wrong. Then cover up again and then test yourself again and then mark it again and then look at your answers again and repeat and repeat and repeat until you've got this off by heart then for my very top students this is what you'll need to do to get really good you might have mastered it by tuesday mardi and that should be pointing at tuesday and you know all of these however give it a few days you will have forgotten you'd have forgotten the pattern or something so the best students do this every day which is why it's called a daily test it doesn't take long just have like a test ready written out in your pink book and then look at it look at the answers and test yourself again and again and again until you have mastered it you need to do this in your pink books to complete it your extra challenge then if you really want to get rid of this why don't you make a revision poster watch this video make a poster about all the rules and stick it up somewhere in your room this will help you learn this is what to do to get onto the next level right guys thank you for watching today i really hope this has helped and i really hope you're ready to conquer ebi6 thank you for watching see you next time hopefully on a different video abianto au revoir